Good morning. June, the end of June, the beginning of July. Uh, we've been work, we've been moving through this COVID for months now, and I know in Ontario we're still at phase one. Um, and from the from the from what I've been reading is that from from people across the nations is that they're very very exhausted. People are very 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 tired and overwhelmed. It's been a very difficult uh, number of months. And, um, and so I thought what we try to do is do a little bit of clearing space to kind of layer through and then see if we can't, uh, I hear words like I'm fried, I'm like, a, I'm, I'm burnt right out and, and see if we can't find um, that one spot where we're completely uh, exhausted and see if we can feed that something helpful. So this will be an experiential morning. Um, and uh, the other thing we want to do is when we find something that we're holding on to or carrying, because there's a lot of vicarious holding right now, we're all holding each other up in a, a myriad of ways. So uh, when we set things down, I wanna see if we can send a little bit of medicine over there. And the medicine intergenerationally and ancestrally will come. So don't try to force that, just let it come through you. You know, your, it, it, medicines will come to you to pass over. You don't have to go to them. So we wanna just see what medicines ancestrally come. Um, I'll, I'll just give an example. So uh, we want to bring our attentions to our body um, and see how we are in there. And again, uh, let me just check in what's there. Well, there's a there's this oh, coming up, a big oh. And, and when I sense a bit of that oh, I can, I, can, I can sense that that's a huge body of grief because there's been a number of losses from, through this COVID time for me. So the first, uh, that comes, it's almost like a cry. Uh, right? It's a definitely uh, a big old cry. It seems to be very collective. Uh, the losses that I've been through, have, we have not had proper gatherings. So there's this collective, ah, oh, there. And I can even sense that it's for a number of people that, that I've had losses for. So I'm just going to set that, ah, oh, down, that kind of a moany, moany deep cry. And then when I set that down, it seems to come up through the chest, up through here. And when I set that down, uh, what comes is different things come for the different losses. I'm just gonna let that happen. Um, and it may seem odd, but there's a multi-grain bagel that's going to Laura and uh, that's still there with smoked salmon. <laughs> so that, that's what, that's the medicine. It's coming, it goes there. And when I check in about that, uh, there's another family loss over there. Uh, and that, that again brings some silk, some from the silkworm, because this woman was a wonderful weaver. So the, the silkworm is, is sending medicines there. So that's the idea of layering through the body and setting it down without engaging it and bringing it whatever ancestrally wants to come, whatever medicines want to come there. And just taking your time moving through layer by layer. So the, what, just notice in, what is your first layer? Don't fix it, don't change it, don't disagree with it, just allow it to be. Set it down. and allow the medicines to come forward that want to touch that place.
And just lift up yet one more, one more layer, whatever layer comes. What is the next thing your body brings forward? Just really be gentle with that. Well, for me, the next thing that comes is a collective anxiety. So there's no right way, whatever comes, comes. Just notice where you want to set that. Uh, I want to set this on a log in the forest. Not engaging it, just releasing it and allowing the medicines that want to come for that to just gently set those medicines with that issue. And just notice your breath as you set things down, as the medicines take care of those things, just notice if, if your body is is letting go. And make space for another layer. Maybe it's a relationship issue, a particular problem. Just allow that layer to surface in a bodily way. And just gently notice what space that could land in, where that might be okay to be, whether that's by a river, whether that's in a stone outside your backyard, where does that need to go for now? And just allow the medicines to come for that. Medicines that know just what's right for that particular issue. And again, notice your breath. Just gently unpacking your body, unpacking, unpacking all that vicarious that you've been holding, the all my relations of this time. See what next comes from your body. What is the next piece that comes forward? What layer comes forward next without judging or fixing it? I feel a shaky quiver coming forward. <laughs> I don't even know whose it is. There's a shaky quivering, shaky quivering, almost like a, like a quivering mouse coming forward. It's been sitting in me there, just wants to come forward. The poor, sweet, quivering something. Where would that go? What medicines come for that, to help with that? And 
and noticing your breath as you unpack, noticing how your breath changes, how your body is there as you unpack these interesting places that are so collective, that are so collective. This layering through And I notice my next piece coming forward is pretty uplifting. Uh, it's kind of like um, a really a collective hug. <laughs> I don't know, whatever comes, just let it be. Don't judge or fix it. Just enjoy that and set that down. Whatever yours is, set it down setting mine like a sunshine out all over the all over the planet <laughs> some beautiful energy there and whatever medicines come to that allow the medicines to form And if you want to pause now, you can, because you might want to need more time to, to layer through uh, before you do the next piece. So just layering out everything, emptying, emptying your basket that you've been holding for so long during this incredibly difficult, difficult time. Just so slowly unpacking, layering, letting the medicines come to those places. And you just do that until you feel you've emptied. And just pause. And when you're ready, hit play. Okay, so we've kind of emptied our baskets. We've emptied out all of this, this collective angst and fear and upset and overwhelm and and now we come to, well, we've been doing that. We've been doing that. We've been holding so much these last four months. It's been incredible how much we've been holding for each other. And that comes at a bit of a, at a cost, right? So let's go find out. Let's go in that body and find out um, that, that part of you that's been doing all this heavy lifting, an enormous amount of heavy lifting. If you can find um, where that is in your body, it must be so exhausted. You've been carrying all those layers and holding all of that. Oh, where have you been doing that? And I noticed mine's way down in my belly and it could be up here, it could be, but it's in your body somewhere where you've been doing all this holding. And you just wanna be really tender, tender, tender there. That's the best part of you the part of you that would have that level of compassion, that level of love, that level of care, that, that holding up piece of you that does that. <laughs> um, so come to that with a great honoring and respect. You know, respect your ability to be that core of you that that takes care of the planet, that takes care of the peoples. Um, that's, that's a beautiful part of you. And it's probably a bit exhausted or whatever. When I check into my belly, it feels a little blown out, actually. It feels like it's a little bit of a bloody mess in there. <laughs> so if it's weird, just be comfortable with the uncomfortable. It's OK to be blown out and have a messy, messy belly for a bit. Right. Oh, just saying that really helps me. See, just saying that, just saying how it is, is very helpful. How is it there where you've been doing so much heavy lifting? And again, not trying to fix it or change it or, and not trying to set it down. Just that's the blown out part of you or the whatever that is for you. 
and just sit back and allow the ancestors and the medicines to find their way to you there where maybe it's been a bit injured, exhausted, whatever it is for you. And just relax. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. You don't have to do anything here. The medicines will come. Whatever, whether it's, I see a bit of water for me and like a cleaning is going on. Oh my goodness. Who knows, animals might come, plants. This is where you just leave it over to the helpers that that love and care about all you've been up to. <sighs> and let it be whatever it is. If something's scraping you out there, let it scrape you out there. If there's a big wind there, let that happen. Whatever takes place, <sighs> just give it space to help heal you. Allow spirit to work on you. Your only job here is to breathe and surrender. And if you feel yourself getting a little bit dizzy or something like that, that's okay. Just allow yourself to rest. You're in a seated or whatever position you're in. You're not going to faint. Because while things are changing in there, your brain is changing too. Your neural pathways are changing. So a little dizziness might come. Just to let that happen. And the electrical things. Spirit work on you readjust you, strengthen you for next week, for the next four months ahead. You're never alone. Spirit is always with you. <sighs> and allow the chemistry to change, endorphins release, serotonin, whatever, dopamines, whatever's going on in your brain, allow that to reconfigure as you go through a bit of a healing through this incredibly complex, unprecedented for now time. Remember to be gentle with yourself and to know that you're loved, to know that you're never alone, and just complete this in your own time. It's a really important exercise to do during these difficult times. Remember this exercise. It can help and see you through. And know that I love you. Miigwech.